and you go to the device um, device info. Click here to edit any information that you may have. It will bring you to this window. So let's say you are no longer dealing with class D IBD devices. So click on all the, just update the kind of devices you are, you are performing, like you are bringing in or wholesaling or whatever, uh, whatever activities. Okay. And then if you have changes to your GDP NDS certifications, okay. click there and then this tool, this um, Kuna window is the list of um, certified bodies that the body that had um, audited your processes. So just pull down and select the relevant body. And if you have added secondary assembly or cold chain management, so, so just click the information accordingly. And once you're done, click, click update form. And this is the company information. If the company addresses and telephone number did not change, you can just leave it. Okay, the next step is probably the most important step. Okay, retrieving your class A induction list from Medics. Okay, click here to download the latest list of class A example devices that have been previously submitted to us. Okay, once you click, once you um, save it, save it into the computer and this is, when you open it, this is probably the, the list that we have generated in our system. Save a copy first in your computer. So once you save it, it will no longer be a read-only copy, and then you can amend the changes as you go. <coughs> okay, so how do you fill up the uh, class A exemption list? Okay, this column, column B to I, this, these are the entries that should not have any blank entries. You're supposed to fill it up, okay, and show that there's no blank entries. And this is the latest action. It means you are currently bringing in all these um, devices. Okay, if they're not active, you're no longer bringing in anymore. Generally, click on the status and then change it to inactive. So if you have any new items, add them to the new entries at the bottom. Okay, but whatever you do, just make sure that columns A and J are to be blank because this is to be generated by our HSA system. So if you have any entries there, the computer will not be able to accept the form. Okay, so check through, make sure that all the information is correct before you submit. We know that uh, for items that there can be items that have many multiple country or manufacturers. <coughs> so what are you going to do with this? what um, you have to do. So let's say, for example, this device has um, three countries. So you fill up one entry first, and then you copy and paste to generate two more. And then from here, you select and choose the countries that um, the countries are manufacturer. So once you've done that, okay, yeah, you have to repeat every row to put in all the countries. And once you have done that, check through the whole thing. Check through the whole, whole form again. And then you have to come back here and indicate that you declare that as not there is an update to the class A exemption list. Okay. Once you have clicked that, it will bring you to this page where you can upload your exemption list. Okay. Choose the file from the computer and then you upload them. So when you have uploaded it, the system will actually do a very quick scan. So any new entries that you have made, they will show it here. So you will know that, okay, for this form, I've added a new model and then check whether it's correct or not. Okay, once it's correct, click update form. So let's say, for example, you click update form, you click this, and then you realize that the device identifier is wrong. I need to do something to it. What should I do? <coughs> you have to go back to the section 4, which is to again to download the latest copy of the exemption list from the system because you have just updated it. Download back to you uh, to your computer again. Okay. So when you look at it right, you have a new timestamp. 
So whatever entries that you have made earlier will be will be recorded and there's a record ID. So let's say this is the one you need to correct. What should you do? Go to this status, change it to inactive. And then enter in the correct info with the correct info information here and make sure that this, this status is active. Once you're done, upload this form up again and the system will show you that okay, this is what you have done now. Okay, you have inactivated this entry and you have given me a new entry this, which is this um, this row. And once you're sure this is the final copy that you you have, click update form. And some of the tips that you think will be useful on how to maintain your class A exemption list. And whatever you do, once you're there for renewal or if you want to notify or even do any updates, always download the latest copy from the list. Okay? Once you download it, save it first. Save it in your computer before you fill up any of the entries. Okay? The list should include the items you have imported, you have currently mm -hmm. imported, or maybe they are planning to import in the next six months. So let's say the renewal is this month. Maybe I know that two, month, two months down the road, I'm going to bring in a new, new device. So I will fill up all this just to clear up, just to make sure that I have a very smooth uh, way of handling my things and you don't have to come back and update us anymore. And please note that changes to the list are permanent. So any entries that you made are incorrect, you will be there and you are not able to delete it anymore. So you have to really make sure that all the entries are correct before they upload the form. Okay? And always, you are not sure, always have the e-guide next to you. So our e-guide will give you a step-by-step -step procedure on how to submit and how to correct and what to do when you are stuck. So make a good reference of that. And let's say you have your dealer and then you don't have any changes to your existing class exemption list. What should you do? Okay, you don't have to update the form anymore. So just make sure that you click here and declare that there are no changes to my class exemption list. Then you proceed. 